the left pair has Aldridge written on it. The oldest pair currently in the house. So hey guys, while we were cleaning the house, we actually found a pair of mine from my childhood. Here it is actually. If you guys can see, this is a Hush Puppies box. But the inside is not really Hush Puppies. This is a Nike Air Shocks. And if you guys can see, it is wrecked. I'm not gonna pull this out from the box because it is all crumbly and is like really, really old. This is my first ever Nike ID. This is the oldest pair in my collection. This was my favorite pair back in the day. And what's really special about this, this is since this is a Nike ID back when Nike by you was called Nike ID. If you guys know when that was, you guys should know that it was like a really, really long time ago. So of course you'll see the blue. These things here are actually green. I mean, gradient green. And I mean, the swish is also green, supposedly. But I don't know, the paint checked off probably. And since it's a Nike ID, at the back, you'll see my name on it. This is my second name on the right pair. The left pair has Aldridge written on it. This is, wait, let's check what size this is. There we go, it's a size 5Y. Yeah, this has been, you know, my favorite pair to flex back in the day. You know, I was proud that my name is written on this pair of sneakers. Yeah, this brings back a lot of memories. Um, I even cried for these shoes. That's for another story. I'm not gonna tell that why. This is the Nike Air Shocks. I'm not sure which specific version it is. I just know that it came from Nike ID. These, the color scheme is, isn't actually what I chose. I mean, what I did personally because my brothers helped me to design the color scheme. My favorite color is green, that's why there's like green there. So the Nike Air Shocks were the pioneers of my sneaker collecting game. My sneakers are relatively new, except for that one, of course, because that one's in Nike ID. It has a special place in the collection, even if it's all crumbly and even, even if it falls apart. Fast forward to 2015. 2015 is the time when I, ha I was mostly playing basketball and I was using my brother's hand-me-downs. But at the end of the day, I was, I was at a basketball camp and we were given free shoes, but somehow the sizing were all off and I was given a size too big for me. And the best thing that I had for basketball was my brother's size nine and that was already like too cramped for me. So I actually asked dad to buy me an orange pair and here is the pair. You guys have seen this in a previous video. This is a Chris Paul, his ninth signature sneaker. And yes, it might not be orange, it might, it's yellow actually. But since this came along, my love for basketball sneakers has just grown exponentially. This one is one of the pioneers of me collecting basketball sneakers. Because when I received this and I use it for basketball, I was surprised that it was really comfortable. And yeah, this has been with me since 2015 and I've been using it as my beaters for sports for at least every sport that I could, you know, play in. Since we were about around 100 people for the whole high school um, and we were about to join a inter-school competition and we had, since we're only few, we had to play about two about multiple games, I mean multiple events. So this one is what I use for basketball and for chokeball. If you guys can read it here, chokeball. This is not our uniform, this is a different uniform. But this is the sport plus basketball. So I had a lot of memories on these with these pairs. I had trainings in them. I lost a lot of games in them. But we also actually, the last the last time that I actually played chokeball, I mean, the last tournament that I played chokeball in, we won third place that time. And it was a long journey for us. 
it was like really really a long journey for us wait now I, now seeing this up close i did not notice this it's an old pair i'm not really using it anymore but it's just you know sitting on my shelf for for memories for the nostalgia since the chris paul actually you know jump started my basketball sneaker collecting a friend of mine actually commented on my sneakers that i was only wearing basketball pairs which when I think about it, it was actually true. I use basketball sneakers for everyday wear and for sportswear, which is not really something unusual, but it's something, you know, you don't really want to do if you want to preserve the outsole of your basketball sneakers. So while we were in Japan, my sister actually bought me a sneaker um, that was, I believe, way back 2016 or 2017, I'm not sure. Um, we were in an outlet store a Nike outlet store. It was an outlet area in Japan. I'm not sure which place specifically. And you know, since and I had an Air Horach before, but I don't think it was like a legit Air Nike Air Horach. But when we were there, I fitted one that was my size, and I just did not want to let it go. And here is the sneaker. If you guys can see, this is a mostly black and gray upper. And since I worn this, the next day that we bought this, I immediately wore it, worn it, and I just couldn't let it go. You know, I had fun wearing these. These were my daily beaters. If I had to go somewhere and I just have to, you know, pick a random shoe, this will be my go-to sneaker. And yeah, it was like the most comfortable pair that I had, the Nike Air midsole. The uppers were like really, really versatile and I can wear you know anything and I could fit it with this one and I, I would have no problems with it. It had highlights of purple and green and this one should be purple too and somehow I think the colors faded a bit. But anyway, since this is a daily beater of mine and I've been using it for years, the outsole is already you know non-existent. At least for the upper part of the outsole. My brother used this for hiking, I believe, and some. And since my outsoles were already, you know, crumbly and losing their grip on with the glue, the glue was already, you know, wearing off. The outsoles were, you know, gone, which is totally fine. I'm not actually mad about it. I'm not really wearing wearing these anymore because of the outsole. So I'm still thinking what to do about this, but this one. This one for sure started my collection for lifestyle sneakers for those pairs that I would, you know, hunt when whenever we go to a different country. Because again, this was from Japan and this is not this colorway is not available in our country. So it was, you know, something unique, something that you don't see every day here in the Philippines. Since that time, since that Japan trip, yeah, I started to look for sneaker stores, sneaker outlets, or special retailers like Atmos and other stores to search and look for unique, you know, country exclusive pairs. So these two are my jump starters for basketball and for lifestyle sneakers. My Air Shocks that was like really old, really old and all crumbly. Those were my pioneers that, you know, started a little bit of my love for sneakers. And yeah, I just want to show you guys a little story about the history of how I started as a sneaker collector. Of course, I don't have that much hype shoes besides the zebras here. And these were, you know, released last month. So my collection isn't really that big and I'm actually really, really happy with what I have right now. Each of them has a story where where I got them, how I actually purchased them, where we got them. It's either from a different country or it's a gift from my dad from or is it or it's a gift from my siblings. So most a lot of my sneakers were actually gifts from them. So I'm really happy to have a family that, you know, supports my indulgences. So those are the sneakers that started that pioneered my love for sneakers. What's yours? Tell me down in the comments. Tell me, tell me the first pair that you remember that 
you just wanted to get that when you got it it was like really really something special and something you know something extraordinary for you even if it's not a super hype pair even if it's just one of those those random pairs that you saw in the outlets in i don't know somewhere in the store or some you saw someone wearing so if you guys enjoyed that video you know hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one